Hey guys, what's going on? It's the boy who had seven here, and it's time for a top 100 video. Stick around to see what it's all about. All right, guys, so a ton of you in the comic book community have been asking me to share the top 9.8 white page books that I have in my collection. I went through it and I decided to do a top 100 9.8 white pages that you heard me the top 1098 in the collection so thank you for everybody uh, who asked me to do this video thanks for giving me a little nudge I know a ton of you have requested it for a while and I'm finally getting around to it you can see that I've got some stacks beside me I've got them here in front of me I've got them here I've got them behind me I've got all of my hundred books ready to rock and roll and this is how we're doing it today we're gonna start with uh, books 100 through 91 we're gonna count it down I'm gonna drop these videos every week and that way you guys can come check it out and see what books I've got in my collection before we get into the list of books guys I want to kind of tell you what my criteria is for doing my top 100 I mixed three things together guys and those three things are this number one the value of the book how much the book cost me what it's worth right now I kind of try to put all of that together number two what the book is valued to me and on an emotional basis what the characters mean to me, um, what characters I like above other characters, what books I like better. So I try to put those two things together. And the third thing that I used is what is the book doing right now in the market? Is it a hot book? Are people looking for it? I kind of threw those three things together and made this top 100 list. So here we go, guys. This is book number 100 on the top 100 list. We're starting off with Batman number 497. This is the book where Batman gets his back broken by Bane. It's from the Nightfall storyline. We've seen the scene in the Dark Knight trilogy when Bane does the very thing to Batman there in the movie, the Nolan trilogy. Uh, this is a, a book that I love having in the collection because it's a book of my youth. All right, beautiful, beautiful, cool cover, 9.8 white pages. So there's book number 100. Book number 99 is Robin number 126, all right? And this is the first appearance of Stephanie Brown as Robin, so it's an important book. I imagine if we ever see this happen in the movies, this book's gonna blow up. I got this book for a buck, CGC'd it for a total of $31. Got it pressed, clean, CGC'd, and paid a buck for it. So I'm 31 bucks into this book, pretty cool. All right, so book number 98 on the list. It is Catwoman number one. This is one of the books of my youth again. This is an embossed cover. Let's see if you can uh, kind of see the embossing there. Um, I think this Jim Ballant cover is absolutely stunning. Catwoman is drawn beautifully. This is my favorite outfit of hers. And look at that face. Feminine, beautiful, and fierce all at the same time. Really awesome book for number 98, 9.8 white pages there it is book number 97 this is a newer one guys that I picked up and the reason I did is because my favorite comic book couple of all time is Rogue and Gambit and so this is X-Men gold number 30 and this is the J Scott Campbell variant it was a secret variant for a secret wedding so Colossus and Kitty were supposed to get married they that did not end up happening but Rogue and Gambit went ahead and took advantage of the situation and finally got married and I thought this is my favorite comic book couple. It's a J. Scott Campbell secret variant. They kind of kept it hush hush. And so I decided to pick up this book for sure. So there it is, 9.8 white pages. All right, book number 96. One thing you guys gotta know about me is I love the Bat Family. I love to collect everything Bat Family. And this is Batman number 442. This is the first appearance of Tim Drake in the Robin costume. There it is. Uh, this is from a Lonely Place of Dying storyline. Tim Drake is a beast. He figures out with his brain who Batman is, who uh, Jason Todd was, and uh, he takes the place of Jason Todd since he's just recently been murdered by Joker, and he becomes the third Robin. So Tim Drake's a beast, and I gotta make sure I have this book in the collection, another 9.8 white pages. All right, so we're halfway done, guys. This is another Bat Family book. This is Batman number 457, and this is the first appearance of Tim Drake as Robin. 
All right, so let me pull this one out again, guys. If you see here, this is the first appearance of Tim Drake in the Robin costume, which you see him there on the cover. This is the first appearance of Tim Drake when he becomes Robin, all right? So I, got, I like to get these little books. These are books that cost between 50 and 100 bucks. They may heat up one of these days. There's some pretty cool variants of this book that are worth a lot of money, but this is one that uh, I decided was perfect for my collection here. So there it is, and I love that Scarecrow cover. So pretty awesome. All right, this is my ultimate favorite Venom cover of all time. Some of you guys might be guessing what this is, but this is Venom Lethal Protector number one. Look at that beautiful cover. I love the webbed red foil in the background. I love the art that is done there. Venom's teeth, the venom dripping off of his mouth, just the way that he's muscular and huge in his hands. I mean, this is just a beautiful cover. Another favorite from my youth. So a storyline that's actually really, really good, guys. And this book jumps up and down. When Venom, the Venom movie came out last year, this book um, got up to about $150. Right now that Venom 2 is about to come out, it's getting up to about 100 bucks again in a 9.8 white pages. Um, Raw going for 25 before the movie was a $5 book, right? So all those, that movie spec really does change the market. But I'm just glad that I have this book uh, because I love, love, love this cover. One of my favorite of all time. So there's that. We got three more books left. So here we go. This is book number 93. And this is Spawn number nine, the first appearance of medieval Spawn and Angela. All right. Really interesting thing about this book, okay? So uh, Neil Gaiman, Todd McFarlane get together and create this character, Angela. And uh, they kind of have a falling out and they kind of fight over the rights for this character. Um, Neil Gaiman wins, sells the character to Marvel, and uh, she now becomes Thor's long lost sister. So this is the first appearance of Angela and Spawn and medieval Spawn, all right? So it's a double, um, key book but uh, I think one of these days we're gonna see Angela in the MCU who knows maybe maybe not but uh, this is a, a really cool book and I love the cover that it's white and I love this purple up top it makes everything it kind of that that spawn just pops there but a uh, really really cool book to have in the collection got it for really cheap back in the day all right we're on 92 this is my favorite female cover of all time I think Adam Hughes just killed it on this. Sexy, but not overdone, beautiful. I mean, just just amazing. This is G.I. Joe number two. This is a variant cover with Baroness on the cover. I mean, look at how beautiful he drew her. The cover is just cool and sexy at the same time, right? And uh, man, I just, this is an absolute awesome, awesome, awesome cover. So. That is number 92 in the top 100. And last but not least for today's video, guys, I've got Amazing Spider-Man 654.1, and this is when we see Agent Venom for the first time. Here it is, guys, Amazing Spider-Man 654.1. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I, I picked this up, Agent Venom, maybe something we see in the MCU one of these days. Uh, I like the character, I like to have this in my collection. Um, I got this off of a trade, and it was kind of a throw-in that I added in there just to make the deal a little sweeter. So I'm um, really excited to have this book in the collection. So there it is, guys. Books number 100 through 91 on my top 100 list. What did you think? Which book was your favorite on that list? Um, I'm going to be dropping these videos here over the next couple of weeks. This one's dropping today. I should have another one next Friday. Let me know what you think about this top 100. I'm really excited to show you what's in my collection. So again, thanks to everybody that asked me to do this. Thanks for the tags on these top videos. If I missed anything about any of these books, leave it down below in the comments. Educate us, guys. This is a great community. Thanks for everything that you guys do. As always, I will talk to you later, guys. Mischief managed.